everyone, welcome to the Oda Cheap channel, the channel dedicated to all things cheap in the world of fragrances. And as you can tell, I'm not in my usual setup anymore. I'm trying to have a different location, different space uh, to make my videos, my video production a lot more streamlined and a lot easier to produce, a lot faster. And I'm trying new things out, trying some different lighting, trying to get some other things in and improve the production quality of everything. So if you like the way I'm changing things, let me know in the comments. If you think I need to do something different, let me know. Or if you like how I did some things before, let me know. But I hope you like it. I'm going to try it out and see how it is for a while. Um, but again, please give me your feedback in the comments. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at two fragrances from the house of Mont Blanc. And for those of you who don't know, Mont Blanc is a men's designer house who specializes in men's leather goods. Uh, but they also have a sideline of fragrances that are fairly inexpensive, especially at discounters. Of course, they're all pretty synthetic, but they are really good quality, especially if you find the right ones. A lot of them are imitation or inspired by fragrances. There are very few originals by them. The most notable is Mont Blanc Explorer, which is kind of Mont Blanc's designer take on Creed's Aventus DNA. And I actually really like Mont Blanc Explorer. It's one of my signatures. I actually just recently ran out of a bottle. I'm gonna buy me another one here soon, a larger one. They also have other fragrances like Mont Blanc Legend, which is their take on Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce and Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, which is their take on Invictus Aqua. But the two we're gonna talk about today are actually fairly original. Maybe one of them is more of inspired by, but the first one is definitely very original. And you've probably seen these around at uh, Ross or TJ Maxx, Marshalls or other places. You can get these fairly cheap. One of them is kind of a hit or miss you know, how much it is or if you can find it. But the first one is very available. You can find it everywhere and it's uh, very appropriate for the season. But let's go ahead and get right into it. The first one we're gonna take a look at is Mont Blanc's Star Walker. So we're talking about the Star Walker line today. The first one is this one, Original Star Walker. And it comes off as a very citrusy, woody, grassy, dry kind of fragrance. It is a very pleasant, very relaxing, calm fragrance. Um, there's a lot of people who wear this they say they like to wear this before they go to sleep and they say it helps them relax and i've tried it myself and i gotta say it kind of works um it's very relaxing very easy to wear so this fragrance did come out in 2005 and the perfume behind it is michel amirac um, so it is an older style fragrance and you can kind of tell that from the smell it is a product of its time but it's still very wearable let's go ahead and go through the note breakdown real quick it's fairly unique because on the top notes you have bamboo bergamot mandarin orange in the middle notes, you have sandalwood, white musk, and cedar. In the base notes, you have ginger, fir resin, nutmeg, and amber. So the first thing you notice is a very woody fragrance. There's many different kinds of wood notes in this. There's also that opening of bamboo, which makes it a very unique note, but it also adds very green, almost like a grassiness kind of smell to it, along with that wood. And then it dries down. You, you get citrus all the way through it. It stays very fresh. And then that dry down, you have, of course, that ginger and you have that amber and there's that muskiness in there as well a very very nice fragrance very fresh very light very like i said easy relaxing to wear can definitely pull it off in the springtime in the summertime i think it's too light for the fall and the winter but it's starting to get springtime now perfect time to wear this when things start warming up and when the leaves start coming out and the green starts coming around this complements very very nicely again this did come out in 2005 one of Mont Blanc's first scents, their original scents. This isn't really inspired by anything. It is all original, all by them. It does have that 2000s, early 2000s kind of woody smell, that kind of DNA at the time. They try to make things fresh. And you can kind of, when you smell it, you'll see what I mean. It just has that kind of vibe about it. This is very easy to pick up though, very easy to find and very affordable. Um, I think I picked this up at Ross for about $19.99. Great condition. I love the look of the bottle, the square glass, uh, see-through, of course, the uh, Starburst top and the logo on the top of the cap. It is very classy. Again, very easy to wear. Any kind, any age can wear it. Um, but this is the first in the Star Walker line. So again, you're going with a very woody, grassy, fresh kind of smell on this one. Now let's go on to the next one now. A lot of you might not have known that there was a second edition in the Star Walker line, and um, it's not at all what you would expect, by the way. Um, it's kind of just popped up out of nowhere. I was going through TJ Maxx sometime last year, and I was going to look at everything, and I saw it. It was Star Walker Extreme, a very different looking bottle, um, the same kind of style, just a black gloss instead of the clear glass. And you have the on the front Star Walker Extreme, the same kind of cap and everything else with it. Did not know that this was a thing, by the way. And it's not, like I said, not all what you'd expect it to be. I believe this came out in 2021. 
So fairly recent release, but Mont Blanc didn't announce it. They didn't have any posters about it. They just dropped it on the shelves. Pop up, there it came. And really, I think I've only been able to find this at secondhand uh, discount stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross and all of them. But let's go ahead and go into what it smells like. It smells nothing like the original Star Walker. The original Star Walker, again, that woody, grassy, green, fresh smell. This one, very different. This comes off very aromatic, very sweet, fruity, fresh, and a little bit of ozonic marine quality to it. Nothing like the original Star Walker, but it is very, very nice actually. Now the first one, it is not inspired by anything. It is an original by itself. This one, trying to be more modern, trying to be more appealing, trying to be more like the other freshies that are around. And I'll tell you in a little bit what it reminds me of, but let's go ahead and go into the note breakdown real quick. On the top notes, you have apple, pineapple, mandarin orange, and lemon. In the middle notes, you have C notes, lavender, and geranium. In the base notes, you have tonka bean, sandalwood, and patchouli. So you got a sweetness all the way through this on those top notes. All fruits, apple, pineapple, mandarin, orange, lemon, very citrusy, very fruity, all sweet. And even on that dry down, you have the tonka wood, the sandalwood, and that patchouli, which adds more to that sweetness even on the dry down. Of course, you, in the, you saw in that middle, you have those C notes, which is very predominant in this. When I spray it on, and what I smell from it, again, nothing like the original, but it is very fresh, very, very nice. To me, it comes off very similar on that same vein, on that same line as Chanel's Allure Sport Extreme. Very similar. A coach for men, very similar. And someone even told me to them it smelled like Jimmy Choo Man, which I'm not sure about that. But this very much has that fresh, citrusy, ozonic, sporty kind of smell to it. I would equate this more to Allure Sport extreme to that uh, coach kind of smell because of that the citrus the fresh fruitiness it is very very nice i think i picked this up for about maybe 24.99 25.99 under 30 dollars and it is very worth it it's worth every bit of that not at all what you'd expect but now how's the performance on this the, I, even though it's so cheap and it's nothing like the original the performance on this thing is what really gets me it stays on you all day, and I mean all day. You start off with that fruitiness, and that sweetness, and that freshness, and as you go through it, that ozonic marine-like quality starts coming through, adding to it, and it dries down, and it keeps that sweet. You get to those woods on the bottom, and it is just a very nice fragrance. Very well performer, at least how it is on my skin. Projects very nicely, maybe like a foot or so, um, and the longevity is, is all day. I've been able to spray this in the morning when I go to work, six, seven, eight hours later, get off work, can still smell it on me, and can smell it on me all through the day. Very well performer. Again, if you want something that is like those I just said, Coach for Men, maybe Jimmy Choo, and then of course the Chanel's Alum Sport line, this is a good alternative to those. It is very nice. Again, nothing like the original. Absolutely nothing like it. This one, which I forgot to say the performance on, Star Walker original performance, is just the same, maybe six hours, eight hours, stays fresh. One thing I gotta say about the regular Star Walker is it is not very loud. It doesn't present itself. It doesn't stand out in the room. It's a very natural fragrance. And not natural as a photo, you know, photorealistic wood or photorealistic this and that, um, because it is all very synthetic in here, which makes it so cheap, but it's still nice. But what I mean by natural is it doesn't come off as something separate from you when you wear it. It smells natural. It smells like you just walked in from outside and that out nature, na outside kind of smell is still on you. And it has those mucks in it, which really helps it latch onto your skin and add that naturalistic smell to it. It just smells like it's a part of you. It doesn't smell like it's a sign from you. So the performance on this is what you'd expect, six to eight hours, but it's not gonna be a loud projector. It's just gonna be something very natural, very easy to wear again. This one, I say it's louder, a, a, a lot longer lasting, a better performer, more projecting, but still nothing like the original. Both of these from Mont Blanc, very, very, very nice. Both of these spring, summer, I think maybe the extreme, you could probably wear in the warmer side of fall. And actually, I think you could might wear it maybe in some parts of winter because of that sweetness and that fruitiness. I think it still can cut through that cold. It is very much like a blue style fragrance with more of a sport side to it. So again, 
The conclusion on these, the original Star Walker, very woody, green, grassy, fresh, citrus, but a very natural smell. It sticks to you, makes you smell like nature in a way. And the Star Walker Extreme, very sweet, very fruity, stays fresh. You get that marine-like ozonic quality to it, and it lasts and projects a good bit. The performance is great on it. Nothing like the original, but still a really good competitor to those other more expensive designer blue fragrances and sporty fragrances. So that's all I got for the day, guys. But again, two really good fragrances from Mont Blanc. I think some that are underrated, especially the extreme version. I don't see a lot of people talking about this one, a lot of people pushing this one, but it's a very, very nice fragrance, especially for the price. Again, I think the original I got for like $19.99, not gonna find it cheaper online discounters. And Star Walker Extreme, if you find it, maybe a little under $30, $25.99, maybe $29.99 but both very well worth the price. It's not gonna be something that everyone's gonna be wearing, so if you find these and you wear these, it'll help you be different and stand out, especially in the warmer months. It'll help you be very unique, but very underrated fragrances, and I wish more people would talk about them and wear these. So that's all I got for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the new setup. I'm trying some new different things. Gonna probably change position of the table and the lighting. I'm gonna try and get some more different lighting things in. Um, and I think with the way that the setting is changed, I think it also changes my presentation. So if you like my new presentation, please let me know. If you like the way I did presentation before, please let me know. But again, these are two really, really good fragrances from Mont Blanc. If you have these, or if you find these and you buy them, let me know what you think about these down in the comments. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share it, comment. Tell me what you like about everything or what you don't like, what you think I could do different. I really like to hear back from you guys. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all in the next video. Be blessed.